Hello, welcome back to IT Landy. This time we will continue with part three of Azure B2C. And previously we spoke about a quick recap. So in case if you missed it, we spoke about the core capabilities and the advanced capabilities. Six pillar each, in total 12. It covers everything what is B2C is capable of. And then we cover the architecture as well. For today, we will continue with our journey. And this time we will be talking about introduction for deployment and configuration of the b2c itself now deploying azure b2c uh, is by provisioning uh, creating new active directory and enabling the b2c again if you have an existing one we're going to spin a new one new ad and enable the b2c there are currently preview and production scale up tenant available. Tenant created in North America will be production tenant. Others will be in preview. Again, this is work in progress. Plenty are improvement Microsoft are introducing and getting better and better. Now, how we can do the configuration of our AAD B2C? The process for uh, configuring AD, Azure AD B2C consists of the following four tasks. First, do the identity configuration for your application. Let me repeat, configure identity provider. The application will be consuming or leveraging, yeah? Configure the attribute the application will be, we will be using. Then next is the policies for sign up, sign in, profile, password update, and ETC. And the last part is the integration of the application with open and with BTC using OID, yeah. We will discuss this in more details. Uh, it is possible to test most of the Azure BTC configuration before even the application is integrated, you know, by uh, running the policy of each one of these, yeah. So, which means you can validate before you implement. This is the beauty of the tool. Next. What are the account types and local account types? Azure AD B2C support local and social accounts. Local account, private account that users, users can create and can be utilized for the application. The unique account identifier can be either username or email address. All the information about the user stored in Azure AD, including the password and encrypted. Azure AD provide profile editing and password reset capabilities. Through the Azure AD web-based user interface, custom attribute and some other user will be con uh, con uh, consumed and PowerShell script and tool will be utilized to integrate Azure AD via Graph API. Social account, so previously it was local, now social account, which means the identity provider here is not Azure. So an account created and maintained at a trusted organization that the user likely already has, like could be Hotmail, Outlook, Microsoft account, Google, Gmail, Facebook, LinkedIn, Amazon, the user ID, password, and other information depending on the provider are stored, maintained by the identity provider. An account is created in Azure AD BTC and linked to the corresponding social account. Basically, there's a mapping behind the scenes, yeah, between the your social account like Facebook and behind the scenes there's a one with dot on Microsoft.com behind the scenes, yeah. Password and basic demographic information is managed by the social provider, while other information can be collected, maintained by the Azure BTC. Like give an example, user. Uh, UPN is the most common one we use within Microsoft, yeah? So this is what will be used. And how that will look like, it looks like something like this, yeah? The attributes. So default and custom attributes. Azure AD support BTC makes available of number of default attributes. See the table we have? Additional custom attribute can be created or exposed. Custom attributes are currently limited to string data type. So only supporting string data type. User will be promoted to provide attribute during the sign up. Like, you know, I go to a page, basically I click on the page itself and ask me to specify email, first name, surname, mobile number, whatever. We customize the page to collect information for. 
these are the you can see for example some of the strings examples city country display name email address given name job title user object id and then if you remember earlier we mentioned upn will be utilized for the sign up process now these are just like in a high level we will cover in details more later on how we can customize the pages to collect this information in order to allow you to sign up to verify to validate and to consume btc from your identity provider that's all what i had for you for today for session two and session three which is the attributes and configuration next we will focus on the policies and we'll deep dive into it thank you for watching and goodbye for now